everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah and we're doing one of my favorite videos and that's a haul but this haul is going to be various different places that I have ordered from over the past week or stores that I've ran in and gotten a couple of goodies so this one is going to be fun and filled with in my opinion a lot of things and I am doing this over like a couple days because some of the packages are not here yet so I want to go ahead and show you what I do have so that when the other things come I can just show you those because those come later in the week so hope you guys are having a good day hope you're ready for a new haul maybe you'll find some things that you want so let's get started all right, so our first store is going to be the Dollar Tree, and I just did like a big Dollar Tree haul. This one's going to be a lot smaller, but I found some really, really good stuff, so I was like, I need to share this in this video. So the first thing we're going to go over is, I would say, the biggest find, the coolest find, and that is the dupe, or that, that are, those, <laughs> that is the dupes for the Neutrogena products so my store actually finally has them they did have all three products the face cream the hand cream and the wipes but i have so many moisturizers i did not get it i was trying to be good i said i wasn't gonna buy any more hand creams anyway but hey we can't be ish so i only got the hand creams and then i got the wipes but um it's the hydrating facial wipes with hyaluronic acid compared to neutrogena's hydro boost cleansing towelettes now let's say i am a hydro boost stain when it comes to like skincare neutrogena is like the brand i actually use or have the most of like right now i'm on my neutrogena and my caudalie those are the brands that i have most of my skincare from and i've been using the hydro boost line for years and i absolutely love them um i'm not a big typically i would actually get the bolero wipes I have liked those. Um, I don't use a lot of wipes anymore when I take off my makeup. One, I don't buy a lot of wipes anymore because I don't wear makeup that often. So I feel like when I'm opening the wipes because I'm not constantly pulling them, sometimes they dry out too fast for me. But I did want to give these a try and they are amazing. First of all, they're big. So sometimes you get face wipes and they're really, really small. These are big. You can definitely probably get all of your makeup off with one wipe. So that's one thing and they work really well. They're thick as well. So you don't have thin wipes. They're big, they're thick, and you could really cleanse your entire face with them. So my cleansing method is that I do like to use an oil cleanse first. And when I tested them out first, I did use an oil cleanse and then I went over with the wipe and washed my face. And by the time I went in with the wipe, it got all those extra areas off. That's typically my process. If I wear makeup again before I post this, I will use the wipe first and then go in with just a face wash to kind of compare did the white pretty much get everything off i always recommend using a face wash face wash too because you do not want to sleep with makeup but it is good to know that this could do such a great job where you can use maybe less of your facial cleanser and not necessarily have to do three steps like i typically do just to make sure everything is off so that i definitely recommend and i did grab too the other is the hydrating hand gel cream Hyaluronic acid, 100% paraben, and phyllate free, and it's compared to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hand Gel Cream. I love their hand gel cream. Um, this is what it looks like, kind of far away. So let me kind of bring the packages closer to you. But this is what they look like. I absolutely, when I saw them, I was excited. Um, I have not used them yet. Oops, but I am a gel cream especially in the summer if i'm going to use something that's not a thick like body butter or an oil or like a thick cream i love water gels because they feel lighter for me and especially in the summertime what i would like for them to come out with is the big bottle that they have so they have a body um gel cream and i'm pretty sure you can use this on your body as well but neutrogena has the bigger one so i'm excited to see if they'll come up with the bigger sizes of the body gel cream because they do have the olay dupes in the bigger bottle so i'm hoping they will do that with this um one thing i will say dollar tree used to like years ago carry a brand it wasn't a dollar tree brand i don't believe but it was a brand and it was like a bigger i guess if this is three ounces probably like i guess this with a 16 ounce tube of this and it was a body gel. It felt so, so good. And I used to buy like 10, 12 at a time. I have not been able to find that. So I was really excited to find this. And like I said, I hope they come out with the bigger bottles too. Now, the other thing I got was the Rose Oil Lip Balm. I've seen this. It is Be Pure and so are those. 
but this one is the um, from clear to your unique lip color I can't remember this doesn't say compared to but there's another brand Nate big brand that did something like this where it changes to your lip and I didn't realize that actually until I got home I just thought it was like a clear rose oil lip balm but this one does change to your um your shade and there are three shades on the back so you see there's like a pinky shade um then there's more like kind of like a darker pink and then like a purple so i was like i'll be happy with any of these three shades because listen my lipsticks those purples those pinky purples <laughs> tons of them heroin my favorite lip color so i was excited um even more when i found out about that um, feature now this last thing I got for my daughter, but I do think it is cool if you wear eyelashes It is a case for you to put your eyelashes in I know sometimes it's probably hard for y'all to get them back in the packages that they come in Like I said, I don't do lashes and it looks like it says it holds three pairs of lashes So there's three rolls that you could put the lashes on so I guess you shouldn't open more than three at a time <laughs> But it does have a little mirror and they did have different styles I actually saw this a while back probably like a year or two, but I could never get my hands on it So I thought it was cute and I got this one for my daughter Now we're done with Dollar Tree. Let's move on to Amazon So I'm gonna go ahead and do Amazon and I only have well I technically have two things from Amazon right now But y'all are on one of them. It's the same tripod. I was using before Y'all, I clean my house so much, I don't know where I put it. And I'm just like, I have to stop doing this because I am missing my entire package of summer and spring pajamas because I organized so well. I don't even know where the heck I put them. I stored them somewhere. But apparently I did the same with my tripod, so I did get a new one. It's the one I was using before. I think in a few videos back I talked about it. So that was one of the things. But y'all, I'm trying to up my video game, and I got this product here, which is a Rotation Auto Face Track. So initially, I had no intention of getting this. There is another product that I got that I did want to get, and I'm excited to talk about that. But then I saw this when I was looking for my selfie stick. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get this product. Maybe I should try it out. It is basically supposed to, one is supposed to be like a stabilizer. Um, I believe as well, this one has the stabilizing built in, but it also follows you when you're recording. So like sometimes I'm walking around my room and like I'm out of frame or like whatever room I'm in. So I did get one of these, it's 360 degree rotation, vlog shooting, face tracking, portrait switch, intelligent lens and tripod compatible this one is in white um and this one has a eight hour working time so i'm really excited it has a built-in battery to see how that works and you know see what you know how i can improve my videos for you guys so that's the first thing i can't wait to show you all the other thing so yes now abercrombie so I ordered um, some stuff from Abercrombie actually a little bit back. I did not do a haul video for that one. Um, however, I am going to show off this since I have multiple packages. I have been wanting to get my hands on a, um, they're called, what, let me read the tag. So I call it by its right name, but I will link everything. It's called the A&F Mar Linen Blend this mini dress and i got it in white i have wanted one of these oh, for like the last two years um but my problem has been and my problem with the original one i ordered was the sizing across the chest so i am hoping this one will work it is white it is linen hopefully you guys can see that it has these pretty like tan cream brownish buttons down the front and one thing I do like about their linen dresses is that it is heavy, so it has like a layer under it, so it doesn't feel as though you are wearing something super see-through. So I did get this dress, and I am hoping it is going to fit. It's super cute. I love their mini vest, but I am never able to get a size that works for me. And on the other side, I got an extra large, and it fit everywhere else, but it did not fit over the chest. It left like that gap, so I'm hoping by going up a size it won't be too big on the body but it will fit perfectly around the chest so fingers crossed on that one um where are we going let's go to thursday <laughs> so the next item is this thursday no i don't even know what's in that one 
Oh, you know what? I know what's on the bottom. Actually, well, we already started with clothes. Let's keep going. This is from... Actually, no. That's not Thursday. This is from the Thursday Boot Company. Um, so one thing I wanted in my quest for new shoes, and yes, we're back to shoes. I can't help myself. Was a pair of leather white sneakers. So I have my Vans that I absolutely love. And I've been wearing like the Ultra Ranges for years. I've had them in several colors. I love them so much. I've bought some of the colors multiple times when I kind of wore them out. But they weren't completely leather. So I bought like last year or whatever a pair of leather Pumas. Which I do love, but they are high top. And I wanted a pair of leather white shoes that I could wear with dresses. So like this linen dress or other dresses and skirts that I have. So I wanted something that was low top. And I googled white leather shoes. I think that's what they like white leather sneakers or something like that. And the company called Thursday. I think officially they're called Thursday, like Thursday Boot Company. But the brand on the box, they just say Thursday. So it's Thursday. And they sell sneakers, low tops, high tops. They sell like boots, but they sell leather shoes. And I was like, okay, I like them because they're plain. They don't have logos. They're just very clean. They don't have like a bunch of stuff going on. So inside the box, you get a nice little shoe bag, a nice little duster with the brand. So it's Thursday on there. I'll show you guys that. It smells so good. It smells. <laughs> it says Thursday on there. Yeah, ThursdayBoots.com. One thing about this brand, and I think it's kind of cool because a lot of brands, sometimes you, okay, let's pick up the shoes. Sometimes you buy stuff and they have tons of sales and you're like, is the item that I'm getting actually valued at that? One thing I will say about them, they don't do discounts. And um, I noticed that because, you know, like every time you go to a website, there's this pop up and I was just reading about the company, like about the shoes and everything. And one thing it says is like our shoes are priced as is. You're not going to see crazy sales because, you know, we put that work into our shoes. So I was like, they're standing by the value of their products. I think that's super cool. And we have the shoes and y'all might think they're so plain, but that's what I wanted. So here they are, full leather low tops. They do have high tops. This shoe actually comes in a various, um, various different colors. Like they have like two tones. They have like black, brown. Um, cream like tons and tons of colors but here are the shoes I'm gonna take both of them out here are the shoes and like I'm literally taking it out of the box with you guys and I think that is so so pretty and they're just clean and the only like logo they have is at the bottom in the leather part this is Thursday so I'm really excited about these I did order a nine and a half i believe yeah i ordered a nine and a half so hopefully they work i'm gonna try them on i'll let you guys know of course but i'm i'm excited because they're exactly what i need to go with all my cute little white dresses um let's see what else do we have the next box now i talked about um i talked about some shoes Okay, I was just really concerned. Oh wait, this thing only has one pair of shoes. I'm kind of pissed because this ain't even the shoes I really cared about. I thought that box was too small. So now I have to let them know that I only got one shoe. <laughs> I've been waiting to open this freaking box since Friday, I think. No, these shoes came yesterday. And when I saw the box, I was like, this box is really small to have two pairs of shoes. And the shoe that I really wanted, like the one that made me order, the one that made me go to the website, y'all ain't even in a box. So now I have to reach out to them because the shoes were over $100. I want my shoes. Anyway, here's the other pair of shoes that I am so excited to get. They're called the Kaylee's. And these are from Dolce Vita. And these are a pair of mules. Y'all know I like my mules. So I have a pair. If you've been here for a while, you've probably seen them. My leopard print mules. 
They'll say, um, they'll say, they're by Gianni Beanie. I got them from Dillard's and I've had them for a while, but I really wanted another pair of dressier mules because y'all know I like mules in general, but I wanted a pair that was dressy. And this is the shoe that I got. And here they are. So I'm going to show you there with a wrap. And they have a bow just like my other ones. The heels are not incredibly too high. Just the right height. These I got in a nine and a half. And we're going to just take the wrapping off so you can see them in full. And here we go. Let me move them around. And I did get them in nude. They did have them in a couple other colors. And they describe the material as I think like Rafa light natural Rafa yeah so that's the shoe and I just thought it was super super cool it gives me a nude great for the summer weather I'm hoping that like when the winter time comes in because I don't remember seeing these like in leather but I would love if they did like a brown leather with the pop that would be cute but here are these I am excited about these but this is not what made me go to the website so these are here and hopefully by the time I get my other packages, I'll be able to show you the other pair too. All right, so the last box we have here is, I'm looking for my scissors. Where did I put them? That is so crazy. I think it fell on the floor somewhere, but anyway. All right, now I'm just gonna struggle to open this box. All right, so the last package is from, you know, our girl, Rihanna. It's a Fenty package. So, of course, we know that Rihanna has dropped a bunch of stuff lately. And because I am a Rihanna stand, I had to go ahead and support. But the first thing I got actually dropped a while ago, but I'm just now getting it. And it is the Hydrovisor Hughes, the Tinted -tint Moisturizer broad spectrum mineral SPF 30 sunscreen so I did go ahead and get that and I also got the refill case um I do think if you already have like the hydrovisor um sunscreen that is the same exact casing I believe I'm pretty they look exactly the same I believe it's the same exact casing so if you already have that and you're not going to replace like let's say you're going to replace it with this one and so you're not popping it in and out, then you could just pop it in that case. Um, but of course, if you have both products, you want to have both cases because like I said, who wants to take it in and out? But I got shade six um, based off of my Fenty um, Tinted Moisturizer shade because this comes in like eight shades, I think, and I got six and then I got the refill. So I got these products and I'm happy to try that. I love the Hydro, the Hydro, The Hydra Visor. I actually love just the sunscreen. So I was like, ooh, to have a tinted moisturizer on those days where I want to throw in a little bit of color, I can do that. My sunscreen is built in and you really can just get up and go. The other thing, because you know, Rihanna dropped some hair care, 50 hair. And I'm like, how you gonna drop hair care? Well, I don't even do my own hair. Like, I don't, I don't do that. Right now with my locks, I just go to the salon. But in the summertime, I do wash my hair. Um, at least once between my um, appointments. So I got the shampoo because I don't use conditioner and all the other styling products. So I got the shampoo and look how they've sent it. They sent that thing in a carrying case. They didn't just throw tape over it like everybody else. They put it in its own case. So I did get the Fenty. I don't want to take it out the bottom. Oh, that was nice. That has some little snaps at the bottom. Oh, aluminum packaging, gotta love that. So it's the Fenty here, the Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo, and I got that. So I'm excited to try it. I, I do wish it had, it doesn't say that it has any like menthol type, it's not menthol. Y'all like, like the minty tingling thing? It doesn't say it has that in there, and I really do like that in my shampoos. So I might have to mix this with something else so I can get the tingle, but I am interested to see if it makes my hair feel clean. So I got that. The other product that I got from Fenty is the hair gel. So it's the Fenty hair, the controlling type hair, thickening edge control gel. Now, I'm not a big, I don't do the baby hairs thing, but I do like to 
you know, make sure my curly is smooth. So I'll slick it back. So I did get this. Um, I can't remember how much this cost, but this is actually a pretty big bottle of gel. I don't feel like it was more than $20. So for the size, I was expecting it to be smaller because, you know, you can get like the hair gel and the bottle be real, real small for the edge control. But this is actually a pretty big container. And just look at that packaging again, like crazy, beautiful, beautiful packaging. So I got those two products. So this is what we have for today. We're going to check back in a couple of days and show you more. Okay, so it's Tuesday and we have two more packages to open today. Um, I just want to say a couple things first. One, reading is fundamental because I was talking about how my shoes weren't in that box. And we're just going to ignore this. This is, um, I'm trying to prove a point over here. This is a point being proven, so we're just going to pretend that it's not there. But no, reading is definitely fundamental because I was saying how my, like, two shoes couldn't have been in that box. My email that said your package has been shipped clearly said that my other pair of shoes were in processing. So it's going to be here this Friday. So we have one more day of packages, y'all. Only a couple days. Only a couple more days before y'all can see all the goods. But today we have two other packages. And I just want to also say I tested out my little, like, ah, 360 thing. I'll put in a little video here. I'm gaga over it. Like, I am literally excited. And hopefully, like I said, it's going to add more to the videos. I'm trying to do more things. Trying to spice it up. So it's not just regular and then of course the camera can follow me around the room because sometimes like I just be like a few a few like steps over but the camera ain't moving I don't have a cameraman so anyway I couldn't use it today because I did not realize that the tripod that I bought the one that I had always whoops, yep, yep, always used doesn't have the um like you can't screw out the top which I guess I threw away the box I think I threw away a box. I was about to say I could just return this one and get that one. Because if I get that one that has where you could take the top off and then I could screw the other part in, I wouldn't need this one. But also, I'm well, technically I already got a backup because I don't know where my other one is. And I'm just rambling right now, but I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. If I have the box, I might just return this one and get one that you can screw the top off so that I only have one tripod. Or like I just might have this as like an extra one. Um, maybe if I am just doing something stationary and I don't feel like I need that, but I feel like I'm going to want to use that all the time. So I don't know. I have to figure that out. Um, but only if I have the box. Then I don't have the box. I can't take it back anyway. Um, but I do need to get another tripod that will allow me to screw it in place. I didn't think about that. I just automatically thought this one screwed off, but it doesn't. But I can, of course, like put it up on something. And if I'm like just sitting down, like even here, if I had something high enough in front of me, I could have just put it on that and it works. So you don't have to have it on a tripod. But if you're doing something like in this situation where I am using my tripod for the camera because I didn't want to be, I guess I could have filmed it in this little corner. But anyway, so there's some updates on those items that I purchased or have coming. So then we're going back to Amazon, y'all. I got another Amazon box and this is the other tech thing that I bought filming item that I bought because a lot of people like I know people who also do like YouTube and they film everything on their phone and I did buy a digital camera because I was gonna try and it just wasn't given quality I was like I could do more with the phone I already had so what I did is I actually did upgrade my phone um and this does have more features but I feel like I can play with a whole lot more if I use the, instead of the front facing camera, which is typically, of course, what I'm using when I'm filming myself, I can use the rear camera and I feel like I can do more. So what I got was this vlog screen. I saw somebody else use it that I watch on YouTube and you basically can attach this to your phone and it will allow you to use the rear camera, like the regular camera, but you can see it here. So I'll still be able to see myself. It's basically a monitor that you would have for like a camera. And I think that's going to be so helpful because when I'm filming myself and I cannot see the camera, like I want to be able to use all these different zoom features, but I can't see myself. So it's like I put myself in frame. I test it out. I put myself in frame, but I'm afraid to move around because I'm like, what if I'm out of frame? And then I film this whole entire video and it's crap. I don't have to go through that. So I'm going to try this out. I'll link everything below. I think this is the most expensive thing that I bought. I feel like this was $69. So it's pricey. It's pricey. I do this for fun. <laughs> but I like doing the videos. So I'm like, I'll invest. I'll invest in myself. Like, you know, I'm not the best pool player. 
but I updated my pool stick. Like, I'm not the best, but I buy all the things to play pool with. So, invest in what you love. So, I bought this and I'm excited. Now, let's go to clothes. Okay, so I, I have a friend. Like I said, I have a friend. She does videos. She's super cute. And she finds, like, I feel like things that you wouldn't necessarily know about. And it could be because she's doing this and she has partnerships and stuff. But she posted herself trying on some clothes from Wild Fang. This is the package that it came in. Um, I don't even know what it says. What it says? It says, you are, you're even cooler than your email address made you sound. So that's what the package says. I think that's super cute. The brand is called Wild Fang. I literally watched her I watched her film, or not watched her film, I watched the try-on she did, and I was literally watching it with no sound. Now, she does have the words, but I was just looking at her try-on new clothes, and I was like, I gotta go check this website out. So, did I place an order, like, literally an hour or so after seeing the video? Yes, I did. But the stuff here, I feel like I don't see everywhere else, and I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to go piece by piece. I do have one item that's not in this package, but I knew that. Um, that one doesn't actually ship until July 1st. So I'll just have to point that out in like another video when I wear it because I don't have it. Um, so the four pieces, right, four, yeah, four pieces I did get. The first one is the In Power Wide Leg Short in Ocean Blue. I ordered based off of their sizing chart a 16 and all of the pieces, I think. So this one, ooh. Okay, first of all, I wasn't expecting them to be soft like this. Dude, they are so soft. Look at that. That is so cute. It's such a beautiful blue color. Look at that. And so these are longer shorts, as you can see. They give more tailored pant look, so I definitely love that. And y'all, I literally thought these were going to be stiff, but they are flowy, so I am very excited about that. Um, like I said, this is called the Empower Wide Leg Short. I got it in a size 16, and um, let's see. All right, I was trying to see if there was anything else on there. Um, so this is a brand that basically... Um, it's like gender neutral kind of styles. Like, I don't, did I see any men on the website? I'm trying to think, but I saw, I think, I feel like, or maybe there's a men's section and I just didn't look. I don't know. But basically it says, don't read on. Why not? Okay, oh, you're a rule, oh, you're a rule breaker. You'll fit in perfectly here. Please use this product to challenge all the gender stereotypes in the clo in your closet and the world's around you. We've got your back. Love, Wild Fang. So it's supposed to be challenging, you know, gender stereotypes because these could be seen as quote-unquote masculine pants, but I love them. Oh, and y'all, these are real pockets on the back. And I like the lining in the back too. It's soft. Jeez, I thought I was wiping my fingers. So you actually have, yep, four full pockets. It does have belt loops if you need them. And the price on these, I don't know, but like I said, I'll link them below because I really don't know what the price is. And I believe, you know, just like most websites, when you go, they gave like um, a hello if you signed up for like their uh, emails and text messages and things like that. So I did get a percentage off. Um, they also have a rewards program. So for like every 300 points you have, it gives you $15 off of your next order. I think I want to save this one for last. Okay, the next thing I got is the... I'll do that next. Let's do this one first. So this one is the uh, Stry, oh wait, the Essential Linen Long Sleeve Convertible Button Up um, in strike, Stripe Mocha White. And I got this in a size extra large. Now in this shirt, I love it. One is the two in one. So the first style is just a regular old button up. And then the next style is basically like a... I don't even know how to explain it, but you pull it to the side so it gives like this button up look on the side. You guys will see it as I put it on, but here it is. Now, it does look kind of big, but I think it's supposed to be like an oversized shirt. Um, But what you do is it has like this button over here 
And you can take the button from here and you pull it over there so it gives you like a scrunched look. Um, so yes, I do love this, but I think I may have aimed too high on this and I probably should have just gotten a large. Because does it say oversized? If it says oversized, then no. It doesn't say oversized, but we're going to see. I'll see what it looks like on because sometimes things look big, but then they like fit. <laughs> So the next thing I got is the the Essential Linen Elastic Waist Short. Now, I don't think the shirt is linen. Oh, no. It, it does say linen. I was about to say because if not, they might be two different textures. But this is actually a set. And so these are the shorts. Now, I will say this isn't like... Let me see if this is 100% linen because if it is... That could be why it, you know, because some linen is softer than others. And this is not rough by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just not super, super soft. Let me see if this is, okay, it's 45% linen and 55% cotton. So that's what it is. So I was like, it does give cotton vibes, gives cotton vibes. But this one here, these are the shorts and I got the shorts in an extra large as well. And so these ones are shorter than the other ones that I got. They do um, also have pockets, so we like that. And it is the striped look. So I got this to, of course, go with the shirts. So definitely, definitely loving these. And these are going to look so cute with my white leather sneakers. Y'all don't understand. Come on now. All right. Now the last piece in this order is probably by far my favorite. This is the one I saw her put on and I was like, I gotta have it. Um, so I like, I like overalls, right? But they could be a little boring, but not when they look like this like oh my goodness look at the print it's kind of like a brush stroke print so that's what it reminded me of like painter overalls um here it is at the top you can see it does have the leather uh, the leather <laughs> the metal buckles that traditional overalls have here but these are like a slate and you get <laughs> you get that clank so you have that metal look there and then the adjustable adjustable straps. You do have a pocket on the front. Um, so it's actually, so there's a big, yeah, okay. So, oh, it's actually like three little pockets. So you could stick like pins, I guess, in there. And then you have a bigger size pocket on the front. You probably wouldn't put too much on the front um, pockets anyway, but it has the little Wild Fang label on it. Just super cute. The back does have pockets as well. Y'all, I'm just loving these, loving it. And it has like just regular pockets on the side. So I got this one in a 16, in an extra large as well. And I just, I'm just so in love with all of these pieces that I got. So yeah, these are the things I got from Wild Thing. Um, like I said, everything's going to be linked below. Y'all, we got one more package that is coming. We just got to wait till Friday. Friday's almost here. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And depending on where you work. Tomorrow's a holiday, Juneteenth, go celebrate. And then we got Thursday, but that's real Thursday. And then we got Friday. So this week's gonna go by fast. I'll be back in to show you my last pair of shoes from Dolce Vita. And you guys will be able to see why I'm so excited about that. So see y'all on Thursday. It's now Sunday and I did get my other package, but I haven't had set, haven't had set, haven't had time to sit down and talk about it. So we're going to talk about it today, but I also want to give you guys a recap on some of the products that I've used since I started. Number one, I am in love with my Thursday shoes. They are very comfortable. They look super cute with any outfit and they're easy to clean. I wore them to market and I needed, I needed to, you know, wipe them down, but because it's all leather outside and inside, it's so easy to clean versus my shoes that have the cloth. The second thing um, that I am loving, and I did post this earlier in the video, but I want to add a caveat. So the lip balm that I talked to you all about from Dollar Tree, I like it. One, it is very moisturizing on the lips. Number two, I said it turned my lip a light pink, and you can see in that first video that it is really like a light color, like those pictures I inserted are is a light color. However, when I have used it since then, it's actually more of that middle shade of pink. 
So I don't know if it's because that was the first use or I don't know if it had something to do with like body temperature. Like the last two or three times I've put it on, it's given me a darker pink color. So like that middle shade, not as dark as like the third shade. So you really could use it, like put on a lip liner and use this depending on what it does for you. I don't know the science behind it. So like I said, I don't know if it's gonna change because like maybe if I'm cooler body wise or if like maybe I'm outside and you know I'm not being beaten down with the sun, my body's a little warm, I mean cooler if it would be lighter but the shade I like it and like I said I can literally put on like a pink lip liner and just use that and I feel like I have lipstick on and it stays on your lip so it's not like the color just comes off super easy so it, it's definitely lip balm lip stain vibes so I definitely like that the other product that I use I feel like oh let's talk about Fenty here so I use the shampoo like I said I'm a girl who really loves that tingling in the shampoo and this one doesn't have it but did my hair feel clean yes i used it my hair feels felt clean i've only used it once and i'm not gonna lie it was a rushed hair wash it was late at night i was just like i need to get in there and get my hair clean but it did do that it gave me foam the suds so i felt like it was cleaning but not stripping my hair felt good after and i actually let my hair air dry because when i get my hair done i get it washed um, and then she starts to do my my locking and then she goes and she sprays on like the oils and everything at the end. So really by the end of me getting my hair like washed that time period, my hair is pretty much completely dry. So I wanted my hair to get as dry as possible so I can see what it felt like. And before I put any of like my spray oils, which is basic jojoba, rose water and like some tea tree oil. So it's not a lot it felt good and i will definitely use it some more and i'll try to remember to pop back and let y'all know how i feel about it but it did it did the job now am i gonna constantly rebuy it i would have to pour like something to give me that tangling feeling in there because that is what i love about a hair wash but it's a good shampoo and if that is not something that you need because in my brain i just really want that tingle great like i will i will use this it would be something that i buy but it's not something i'm like i ran out i gotta restock it right now just because i prefer something with a tangle the edge control gel works for me i don't do like i said i don't do the baby hairs but it was able to slick my hair down like other gels do and like i said you get how pretty y'all saw that jar and the price point wasn't if i remember i'm going to link all the things below but the price point wasn't super crazy for what you're getting so I like it. Um, what else have I used? Um, the wipes are great. I've actually, I did use them again because I said I was going to check back in. I used it with just the wipe and I did not use my cleansing oil first and I loved it. Um, it did the job. I used one wipe. It got everything off. Then I went in with my cleanser and that was great. So highly recommend the wipes. I love the hand gel um that's great so i just wanted to kind of give you guys an update also i y'all guess what i found my day on tripod like i have and y'all have seen it i have a 1960s this couch is old it got them real springs that if you snap your hand in there it's gonna hurt i didn't realize how deep things could really get in there and the tripod as long and thick as it is it was able to be sucked down by the side of the couch so I literally found it and because I don't have the box I did throw away the box I can't send the other one back so I gave that one to my daughter and now I have a backup tripod so carry it around in my car maybe um use it when I'm not using my movie thing which I am actually using now, so I absolutely love it. I'm pretty stationary, but the fact that it, I come to the side and it comes to the side with me. So I am using that now. It's working great. This is actually the first time I have actually used it. I played around with it, but actually using it to film it, I love it. Super easy to set up. I did get another tripod. It's actually by the same exact company. And if I was paying attention, I would have just gotten this one. Literally, the only reason I didn't get this one is because this one's like 72 inches. And I was like, well, the other one's tall enough, but did not realize it did not have the screw off top. But I am using it now. Now I wish I had gotten the black in the little movie thing. 
but that's okay. Black and white go together. Um, so I did get another one. It's this one does have a remote control as well. So it literally looks exactly like the other one. It'll be linked below. The biggest difference is the neck piece, um, where you can adjust is different and of course you can take off the top and of course this one is taller but other than that same thing so both will be linked and you can decide which one to get i would say of course get this one so you already have a removable piece even if it's not something you think you need right in this moment you'll have it when you need it and this one's taller so and they were both i think i think one might be 20 and the other one might be 29 but that could actually be a lie like they might be closer in price like that than that i don't remember so that's all of the catch up i'm trying to figure out did i wear any of the new pieces yet um, besides the shoes and I have not but I got my other shoes in so let's talk about a little bit of backstory and a, a couple months ago when I did my like shoe closet clean out and I was like oh I'm cleaning out my shoes and then I had bought two new pairs of shoes and I was like but these are things I needed which that was not a lot every pair of shoes actually purchased our shoes that I wanted I just purchased like multiple versions of the shoes that I wanted and that's okay so I work hard. So I talked about the Doc Martens I got, which I love. Those Doc Martin Air Wick, Air whatever, y'all, they, because you know, Doc Martens, heavy, clunky, you know, they got a little weight to them. These shoes, anything with that air, if you are afraid to wear Doc Martens because of the um, weight of them, those shoes feel like nothing. Like I was literally swinging my foot under the table thinking, these shoes really light as heck. They're actually, in my opinion, lighter than some of the regular shoes that I wear. So I would say if you are a person who's wanted to try Doc Martens, but you were just like, they're going to be too heavy, too clunky, get something in that air. I don't know if it's called air. It's not air wick. It's air song. Get something in that line and you'll be fine because those shoes are light as I don't know what. You still get the look of the chunky Doc Martens, but you don't have that weight. So highly recommend those. But I was like, maybe this will help me not spend this grip on these sandals that I want. The sandals are by Todd's. They are a designer brand. I did not know they were designed. Like the girl, I, the influencer that I watch, she was talking about the shoes. And I should have known they were a designer. And I think I might have known they were a designer. I just didn't know how, like what level of designer. Those shoes over a thousand dollars okay and i really think they're pretty i really want those shoes and though i love the doc martens that i got i still want these i do but don't say vita shout out to and i'm gonna actually link the two youtubers one is um thesley juliet she's the one who posted the shoes and literally i'm just like i love these shoes and then the other person um, that took me to Dulce Vita, her name is It's Just Jordan. So I'll link their channels below because I really like their channels. Um, but when she pulled those shoes out, I was like, girl, I've been looking for those same exact shoes. Like, I want those shoes. And she pulled them out the box. And I was like, okay, this is the closest I've seen to the shoes that I want. Now, mind you, the Todd's have that thicker bottom or whatever, um, but they're so close and I was like, that might do the trick. So we got another box from Dolce Vita and I got them. Now, surprisingly, I got them in brown, even though I really want them in black, but I was like, I felt like I had gotten, because I have the other black sandal, I don't have another black sand like that. So I have like a bone Doc Martin in the regular line, not the air line. I have the black Doc Martens and now I have these in brown. So I was like, okay, I need to get brown first and then I could go back and get the black if I want to. Yeah, I'm thinking about another brand shoe right now. But <laughs> I decided to go ahead and get the browns and here they are wrapped up. Now y'all cross y'all fingers with me because this might not fit. I went to the website, literally almost every size in brown was sold out except like three sizes. And one size that wasn't sold out is a nine. I am typically a nine and a half. Literally one foot is a nine, one foot is a nine and a half. I'm hoping I can get away with 
the nine on both feet. So fingers crossed. If not, I'm just going to have to send them back. Hopefully they have the brown back in stock in other sizes. If not, I'll just go ahead and trade them, get the black, and then later get the brown. But I was like, I would like to have a true pair of brown shoes. And so the other one is down in here. And getting into it. It's such a pretty shade of brown. Now, if you look at these, and I'm going to take the wrapping off and compare them to the Todd's, they are clearly different um, when it comes to how you have that thick sole on the Todd's. This one does not have the thick sole um, on it, but you still have those brass uh, or gold buckles here. You still have the two straps on the top and then you have the back strap. And I really wanted that. Like I didn't just want like slides. I wanted you to give me sandal. Okay, I wanted this on the back. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna cross our fingers that both of these actually fit um, both feet because we got that little size issue. But yeah, I am really digging these i think these are gonna be so so super cute for summer um so yes these are the shoes that i got and i know y'all might okay this camera work work oh it's so funny because it says it's not supposed to move maybe my face is moving enough because it does say that it um it follows your face and not objects but I'm moving the shoe a little bit. But anyway, so these are the shoes. <laughs> very, very excited about these. These are from Dolce Vita. They were also $120. So $120 versus over $1,000. I mean, I I'm okay with the dupe. Um, like I said, it doesn't have that thick, thick sole. But hey, I like to spend money. But if I could get a whole bunch of shoes for the price of one, what do you think I'm going to do? Exactly. So that is it for this um, haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found something that you liked in here. You might be inspired to go out and run and get yourself a little something. Um, you guys are great. Thanks for coming and watching. Those of you who have, you know, joined this family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me know what y'all feel about the name. Because I, when I originally started this channel, like, I just picked the name where I thought, like, okay, I'm probably going to talk about my life as an empty. Like, I don't even really be talking about it. Like, I talk about my child, but not like that. So I was just like, I want to change it. Somebody apparently has the name Sarah Shoshana on YouTube. I don't know who you are. So I said, so... Sarah Shoshana. So I was like, okay, I think I like that. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know how many times I can change this name, though. But if you have joined this family, thank you so much for coming back. I really do love y'all, and I really do appreciate you. For those who are just stopping by, like you just randomly found it, I am Sarah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Stick around, and I will see you guys in the next one.